Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tuscan Trades Era campaign for Europa Universalis 4. I am going to queue up another 40 guys. Hopefully they don't get sniped being out here. They're kind of close to the front lines. I didn't just do mercenaries, did I? I don't think I did. No, they're all regular. Okay, good. The French army, I should probably go try to fight. But I'd prefer to hold off on fighting them until we can actually get to level 30 military tech. Which will be fairly soon. 471 points. We're currently only getting 7 per month. We still have an administrative focus, which does make sense, I think. Considering that's the only... Only thing that ever slows me down is not having enough admin points. 10 war score. I think we did lose far more troops than they did. What did they lose total? 37, 38,000 ish. Yeah, I, left, I lost a lot more men, but I did win. And they picked up two war exhaustion, so that's fun. Let's get rid of the 40 stacks. And then, other than that. We will combine and then split. And so now we should have... Four 40 stacks. Yes, we do. We're gonna suffer a little bit of attrition right now. Unless we can spread out before the month ends. These 40 stacks are getting ready to combine. I'm expecting probably another battle with Russia soon. We can't get any more war score from battles. So now we just need some of these sieges to connect. Here's Mombasa. None of you guys have three fort limit, right? No, you're all one fort limit. Alright, you can go back on babysitting duty then. Put that revolt risk down. And uh, we got Azerbaijan to convert. Picked off another tiny little army there. We've taken Guyang. Hopefully that's a claim. It is not. Damn. What's the troop movement look like? Are we I mean... I need to get on these darn provinces that I have claims to. I mean, at this point, I'll probably take them, even if I don't have a claim, but I'd really prefer to have a claim. I think these ones are pretty high base tax as well. I'd love these. Alright, you three are going to come mess with this guy. How long has this war been going? I don't even think it's been very long. Now that is Russia. Not Ming. Russia's only on 29 tech. No leader versus no leader. And they took a penalty. So we should have the advantage. The only problem is that um, they're flanking us way harder. And look at that maneuver. Those damn... That's a lot of horses getting hits in. That's why our outer flank is getting slaughtered so quickly. But if we reinforce, then that could work out okay here. Yeah, I think we're going to win. We're going to avoid the French army. Okay, we're making making the connection here. Just need Bagimo or whatever it's called. You can go protect Mozambique now. Still need to get these two. This this is the whole purpose of this war is this strip. 
Anything else we can take that we have claims on? Great. But I need that strip. I don't know if I'll have enough war score, actually, to, uh, to get it all in one war, which is 40. Here's an army of Ming. We don't have a claim here, so why don't you go fight him? Zero, zero commander. Good job, Ming. Appreciate you putting up such a hard fight. I'll take the admin points. This is a 40 stack, but it needs to reinforce pretty desperately. And it's being engaged. Twenty-fifth. And that backed him off. Let's swap them. Nope, that makes him want to go to the other one. Never mind, just stay there. Let's swap these two. You're gonna come engage? Oh well, you do have a 6-6. Six, six. Alright, well we'll let this fight happen against my 5-4 and then I'll reinforce. We'll kill a whole bunch of Russians. Starting to see some new com troops come in. I really do wish that there was like a rally feature like in Victoria 2. The more Paradox games you play, the more features you realize you want. <laughs> like, that would be so nice if we had this one feature. Why are you so tiny? Wow, this is this is a double legio. It's just really, really weird. No, you don't need to be on the front line anymore. And you're doing a fantastic job, sir. Good job. You will be here on the 8th, so five more days, and we'll double double these guys in. Our glorious armies are under attack. Nothing major, though. This is probably the most important battle right now that's happening. April 4th and April 12th. Wow, they have to hold out almost a whole month. That's a long time. And we lost a battle. How did we lose? Whatever. We don't have a claim there, but good job. You just just try to try to occupy whatever you can, really. Zero percent there. These ones are coming along-ish. Level two forts. So we're getting our five. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Legio transport actually to hopefully speed these along without. Hopefully they're safe. And there could be a navy patrolling, but... Pretty sure my, my trade fleets are protecting us pretty well. Alright, we are sitting on some claims, finally. Even going up to Beijing. These guys are still not down here. Oh crap, Battle of Eustert. We did lose that. We weren't able to reinforce in time. Damn, we were only a few days shy. I should have forced March. Now you're going to retreat all the way back to Punjab. I bet this army could have won pretty easily. do have claims here. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Most of the war score is probably going to be consumed by taking that strip down south. That's not cool.
Look at that, France. We're suffering 1% attrition. I'm trying to siege that there. Alright, let's just focus down here. Just stay focused. Focus. Focus, focus. That siege doesn't really make any difference. But the Ming lands are so inexpensive. Anything in Dive yet is not going to be something that we want with the increased coring cost, so... Shouldn't really be focusing my effort there, either. Got this whole blockaded now, so that should happen a little bit quicker. We are killing the Vijayanagar army, which is good. He'll be gone by the 3rd, we'll be there on the 9th. So that's actually fine. He's got a 3-6, I don't really want to fight him. But at the same time, I don't think that we're going to need to siege that core, so it would be better just to kill his army. I bet if I put all of my effort into killing armies, and then just chain attacked the coalition, I could just destroy all of the other men on the planet. And then just not have an army to fight against. Alright, there's that strip. So we're just waiting on these two, and then we can end the war. Unfortunately, the coring hasn't finished yet. <laughs> oh well, none of those sieges really make any difference. Just need to focus down here. We have one diplomat available to end the war when it's time. It's time to combine you guys up. We're at full maintenance, of course, right? Of course we are. Um, still have stability focus. Which I think is still probably the right call. Glorious army is under attack in Wurzburg. No leader versus a 4-4. My closest leader is here. Well, I don't want to lose this fight, so let's just pile in as many as we can. One, two, three, that's six military power to get you there sooner. Let's just just try to win with a uh, no leader. Maybe one of my allies, my vassals, will bring a, a leader in for us. And there's nothing else to convert, except for the stuff that we took in the last war. Yeah, look, they're bringing in a leader, thank goodness. Hopefully they'll get there in time. Friedrich Schmidt, 3-3, three, three, not bad. I'll bring the men, you bring the leader. We got Suzu. That doesn't matter. 7% and 14%. Okay, it's coming along. Siege ticks are 48 days because of France's defensive ideas. We finally lost a siege. Lost control of lawyer. The cores about halfway done. Your units have suffered casualty. You need 110,000 men to fully reinforce your armies. And we gain 11,000 per month. The numbers get so big at the end of the game. And there's our guy taking over. He's only slightly better than the guy that they committed. I 
All right, sweet. Come on, get lucky here. Seven percent chance. He's not advancing. That's good. Still, his enthusiasm's high. So unless we kill some more armies, we're probably not going to be able to end the war on favorable terms. 8.82 war score. Well, that should be good for the relative strength of the alliance. Still brings them down to 32. They feel strong. I need to kill this army. Even though it's got a 6 6 commander. Any other policies that might make sense? Probably not. National revolt risk minus one, that sounds good. We need these admin points for coring and stuff. Besides, we're falling well behind in, ad in admin tech. And of course, coring. <laughs> That's the main thing. Alright, so we almost have the war goals. Once we have those, then it's just about breaking their spirit. A whole bunch of harsh treatment just ended. Russia refuses merchants. I'm not, um... I'm not losing out an income from a bad embargo, am I? I think I might be. No, apparently not. I only have. I do have Russia's arrival. We should rival. We should uh, embargo Russia. I haven't had to worry about power projection in so long that I almost forgot kind of what's important. Another attack in Beijing. This army might lose. I think it will. That doesn't really matter, though. I just want to finish these cores. And then... Convince Russia that it's not wanting to be in this war. At 35. If I could get my general back up here. In fact... Let's teleport him. Let's bring, bring the army up. Teleport the leader up to here. Let's try to instigate a fight ourselves. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.